Alright guys, this is a wrestling DVD video. Um, I'm going to show you my collection and you're probably thinking why why in the hell am I looking at a bunch of shoe boxes? Well, let me explain you this. Um, I can fit a lot of DVDs in these shoe boxes plus they don't take up as much space as any other shelf. So, yeah, here goes nothing. Alright, this is box number one. Live unboxing right here. I'm just kidding. No. Alright, well, here we go. Quick look. And there's the WrestleManias. Alright, first one on the agenda. McFoley's Greatest Hits and Misses. Obviously not his new one that came out this year. Uh, this one's from 2004. have not watched this one yet. And, yeah, two DVDs in here. I think there's also a hardcore edition, but I don't have it. But, there's the McFoley one. Speaking of hardcore, we got ECW One Night Stand 2005. One of my favorite uh, pay-per-views, I guess you could say, of all time. Uh, 06 was just slightly better because the main event was very fun for that one, but... This one was also great. Uh, you have a stone cold running at the end. Hopefully I didn't spoil it for you guys because that would suck. But, yeah, solid. Solid show. Awesome crowd. Awesome atmosphere. And, yeah, there's that one. Next one. TNA. Uh, Kurt Angle. Champion. Two disc set. Have not opened this, but... Yeah, I probably won't ever watch a TNA DVD. And on to the next one. Speaking of shitty, we got John Morrison, Rockstar. What people say is the worst DVD ever. But shit, I got it for 99 cents. <laughs> and yeah, I don't even want to look at this anymore. Uh, next one, Monday Night War. A pretty good documentary. Um, I'll just leave it to that. Uh, basically sums up the Attitude Era, what happened during it. So, if you missed out on that era like me, this kind of explains it a little. So, yeah, on to the next one. Shout out to my home, John Cena. Word life. Uh, probably one of the better gimmicks of wrestling. Like, it always entertained people and stuff. So, word life. If not watched this, I don't think I've watched any of the videos except for the Monday Night War one I showed you. So, yeah, there's the John Cena one. Haven't watched this one either. Bloodsport, ECW, most violent matches. Sounds... Holy shit, look at how bloody Tommy Dreamer is. Uh, sounds extreme. So, I'll check this out sometime. But, yeah... Next one, got a Stone Cold Say So. Stone Cold with the badass skull on the front. Ooh, even narrated by him. And, yeah, you just got a summary on the back. What year is this in? This damn thing won't focus. Focus? Whatever, I'll just read it off. Uh, 2003, I think it says. So, yeah, wow, well, it's already 10 years old. Triple H. The game. Uh, pedigree to someone. You can't tell who it is. Um, but, yeah. Triple H, haven't watched this one. Badass pose right there. Totally fucking hate his character right now. Just get the hell off my TV. Stupid corporate Triple H. And then we got Confidential. Main reason why I bought it? Damn. Yeah, that's probably what the only reason why I bought it. Uh, I don't, I don't re remember watching this one at all, but yeah, I don't know if there's more editions or not. It says Volume One, and yeah, well, at least I got my babe Trish right there. Uh, I'll save this one towards the end. Try to keep that one a secret. Oh, there we go. Sacrifice, oh wait, TNA, my other TNA video, this the, this and the Kurt Angle one are my only ones, 
Scott Steiner, my brother right there, Small with Joe, Kaz. Haven't watched this one, obviously. So, yeah, here's the rundown. I don't know much about TNA. I barely watch it ever. I watch it from time to time in the spring, but other than that, not really much. There. And the next one, Brock Lesnar. I totally butchered that. Here comes the pain. I haven't watched this one. I don't think I've watched. I'm guarantee guaranteeing you that I haven't watched three fourths of this collection. I usually watch the uh, three disc sets instead. But yeah, I'll have to check more of these out. Brock Lesnar, I'm glad he came back. He said some good matches, especially with Punk, and then Cena's was decent and stuff. But yeah, next one, one of my favorite characters in wrestling ever McMahon, Mr. McMahon. Probably one of the better characters. Well, I just said that, but still, love this character. And haven't watched this one. And yeah, here's the back and stuff. <laughs> Alright, they got starting some three disc sets right here Edge, Decade of Decadence. I think I've watched disc one of this. I've heard people say it's really, really good. And yeah, here's inside and stuff. First disc. And got the others over here. And that's Edge's disc, if you want to see the back. Here it is. <clears throat> okay, here we've got one of the worst events ever. ECW, December to Dismember. That, man, was this pay-per-view shitty. I mean, they have like, yeah, the Hardys vs. Eminem, and then they have the Extreme Illumination Chamber on the back. They didn't have any other matches advertised, I don't know the hell they were expecting. I mean, I don't think anyone would ever buy this. So, yeah. I don't know why I bought that on DVD. And then we get to a pretty good event, I'd say. DX on the cover. And then you got Vengeance. Vengeance 2006 to be exact. Um, let's see what you got here. I know you got Spirit Squad on here. Um, yeah, that's versus DX. This goddamn thing would focus. And, yeah, kind of see John Cena versus Sabu. But it's kind of shit for focus. I'm not even viewing. Oh, there we go. Eugene vs. Umaga. Single reason why I bought it. Best. Five stars. Five stars. Match of the year contender. And, well, yeah, there's that one. I also got a surprise in here. I got Val Venus. Oh my god. And then actually, I also got a bonus disc. I was not expecting that. But, there's that one. Then we go to one of the worst main events of 2011. Over the Limit 2011. Uh, wait, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I was thinking of. The I Quit match between John Cena and The Miz. I fucking hated that. That's some bullshit. But they had a good match right here. Orton vs. Christian. That was a fun match. Then they had the stupid feud with Cole and Lawler and shit. 4 out of 10 stars. Next one. What's this one? Oh, so I got a $5 bin at Walmart like 5 months ago. Extreme Rules 2012. Lesnar Cena, as I said before. Decent match. Just pretty entertaining after all. There we go. Uh, Nikki Bella vs. Layla, damn. CM Punk, Jericho, and the Chicago Street Fight. And, yeah, that Brian Sheamus right there. Um, yeah. That one. Then we go to Vengeance 2011. The ring collapsing, Mark Henry and Big Show. A yeah, kind of meh event. Cena vs. Del Rio. Wow, that's what's going on right now. Then, oh geez. Punk and Trips. Trips totally ruined that storyline. Got Ms. Truth. I think they were actually decent. 
I actually like them a little. But yeah, there's mentions 2011. No Way Out 2008. Have not watched this. Has Jeff Hardy on the cover, so I assume he's in the main event or something. I don't know. Oh, he's in the Elimination Chamber, obviously. And uh, Cena, Orton, Edge Mysterio. Obviously, leading up to WrestleMania 24. Uh, now we get into some WCW with Starcade, the Essential Collection. I watched the documentary on it. It's pretty neat. <laughs> pretty neat. But, yeah. It's back. And, yeah, let's move on. And then we're getting to the WrestleMania section. First, we got. History of WrestleMania from 1985-1993. Way past my generation, but still cool to see old school Undertaker. My fucking camera focus. Whatever. I don't care. And then we get into the actual WrestleMania events. WrestleMania 20. One of the best moments ever at the end. When, uh... This man right here, Eddie Guerrero, celebrated with this man up here. There, oh, God damn it! Whoa. Chris Benoit, that's who he is, or the man who found. Wait, no, that was Orton. God damn it! I'm off today, guys. But there's Undertaker returning, and yeah, I really like this event, even though it has some shit matches. But whatever. Next one ish WrestleMania twenty three. Good match right there. Pretty good match right there. And that was good for what it was, I guess. And then it's probably had one of my favorite money in the bank ones. And yeah, one of the better WrestleMania's of the past ten years I'd say. And next one we skip two years forward. WrestleMania 25, one of the worst ones of the past 10 years, in my opinion. The only good thing about this show was Michael's Taker, probably one of the best matches of all time. And, uh, yeah, the crowd was just dead for Trips and Orton. And, yeah. Set that one down. Then we skip two more years forward. Then we get this one right here. 27, good match right here, eh, 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 decent match, I guess, might have had a shit ending though, Wrestlemania should not end like that, with a interference I'd say, but whatever, Edge's final match ever, on this show, so, yeah, time to put that one away, then we've got WrestleMania 28, once in a lifetime, or so at that time, it's bullshit how they uh, made it twice in a lifetime, but whatever. And then we got another phenomenal match between these two with Mr. WrestleMania. And then just take a quick look at the back. It's kind of a fun WrestleMania, too bad. Got screwed over right here. Should have been a good match. Whatever. And, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good WrestleMania. Then, the newest WrestleMania. WrestleMania 29. It was, eh, I'd say, over the past 10 years, it was kind of in the middle. It wasn't too spectacular, but it wasn't jack shit. But, nothing too good. Nothing too bad. Actually, well, too good was punker. Punker? What the fuck am I saying? Punk taker. <laughs> and then we get to the final DVD of box one. The one I've been me meaning to show you guys for a long time. You've got the WWF Attitude Collection Undertaker the Phenom. I don't know if I should just sell it. If I should keep it. I've already watched it. I've heard this is pretty rare. It's from like early 19 or late 1990s. And yeah, so that does it for box one. Now I'm on to box two. Alright, we're on to box two now. Uh, these are mostly just 
uh, three disc sets. So let's just get started right here. We've got Jake the Snake Roberts, Pick Your Poison. Haven't watched this. Don't know if I ever will. This was before my era. So I don't know. Now there's a little book in here. Haven't read it. Um, Rise and Fall of WCW. I'll probably check this out sometime. It looks like a good documentary. I need to find uh, Rise and Fall of ECW though. I heard that's a really good one. Um, oh, this is one of my favorite documentaries. Again, the true story of WrestleMania. This goes WrestleMania by WrestleMania. Some of the backstage access and everything. So, yeah. I really like this one. And then we got one that was released like about a year ago around one round 1000 round 100 top 100 greatest moments in raw history uh one and two are the moments and then they have a third disc with the full uh raw 1000 and yeah a lot of great memories a lot of great memories here so yeah uh we got saints prison Anthology of the sway so hold on there we go Elimination Chamber And yeah, here's the back three disc set obviously and yeah A lot of Elimination Chamber. I don't know with video with DVDs like this. I kind of get bored after like the first two because The matches are the same thing. I kind of like a little variety But whatever I got Twisted Disturbed Life of Kane one of the more interesting characters WWE has ever had. Until they made him Corporate Kane. Corporate Kane. And, yeah. I just find it stupid now how he's always in a suit and shit. But, what you gonna do, brother? And then, here we go right here. Greatest stars of the 90s. Still and open. You got it $5 at uh, Walmart. Yeah, I don't know if I'll check this out anytime soon or not. Uh, so, yeah, and then the final one of box two, The Rock, also electrifying man of sports entertainment, three disc set, um, yeah, a bunch of rock matches throughout his career, most importantly, I love this match, Rock vs. Hollywood, Hulk Hogan, number 18, and, yeah, that does it for the videos. This is all of them right here. And that does it for box two. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll probably upload more videos soon. Um, just got to figure out how I do this. So, yeah. Just stick around for more videos. And see you guys later.